What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we have the first look at the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Yes, the first Toyota Tundra after a 14 year old platform for the current Tundra. Yes, this has been a long time, but riding on a new chassis and sporting two new V6 only options, the 2022 Tundra is a significant departure from the outgoing truck, which in its later years only offered a V8 engine. And the 2022 Tundra has power to spare. The base engine is a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 with 389 horsepower, 290 kilowatts, and 479 pound feet, 649 newton meters of torque, while the hybridized iForce Max engine gets an electric motor to a 10 speed automatic transmission for a staggering 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet, 326 kilowatts, and 790 newton meters. Now the new pickup wears a sharp styling that makes the Tundra look more conventional and muscular than before. A longer dash to axle ratio and square roof line removes some of the stubbiness of the old truck. But the big news literally is a massive front grille that's visually linked to the ground via a C-shaped radiator shell with a blackout panel on the bumper giving the truck a gaping maw of a mouth. Now, not everyone is sold on the styling element and some prefer the looks of the 1794 edition which gets a chrome bumper beam to break up the sea of black up front. Now, chisel wheeled arches add some visual interest to the side profile, as does an integrated rear bumper that ditches the more traditional separate steel unit. And Toyota wanted to give the new Tundra a dose of modern flavor via blacked out A and B pillars, which give the greenhouse a canopy appearance and emphasize its big, wide windows. As therefore, the Tundra Coup Max will offer a rear window that drops down into a bulkhead, while the not an extended cab double cab gets a horizontal slider. Now, speaking of, every 2022 Tundra will be either a double cab or Coup Max with no regular cab available. The Coup Max defaults to a 5.5 foot bed, but buyers can opt for the 6.5 foot bed that comes standard with the double cab. And that model also offers an 8.1 foot bed. Both body styles will also feature four forward opening doors, a feature the previous generation Tundra pioneered in 2007 for easier access to the cabin. Now inside, current Tundra customers are sure to appreciate the truck's impressive sight lines and decently low dashboard. Though they may be shocked by the amount of technology it offers, the base infotainment system measures at eight inches up from seven inches on the old Tundra, but higher end models will get a 14 inch touchscreen mounted high on the dash. And it finally ditches Toyota's awful infotainment software in favor of a new tech suite that's far more intuitive and responsive. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on all models and enhancements like integrated Amazon Music and Apple Podcasts will be available. Now styling wise, the interior looks clean and attractive with a thick piece of metal tone trim running through the width of the dash to visually support the HVAC vents and infotainment system. There's also plenty of room for the front row for both stuff and people with deep center console providing space for a laptop, handbag, or other daily assortments. Now the side-by-side -side cup holders and an upright wireless charging pad give everything a place to sit, keeping the front row organized. Backseat passengers aren't so fortunate though, with seemingly less rear headroom than before thanks to the optional panoramic roof, the legroom will seem excellent all around though. In coil sprung multi-link rear suspension, the base engine offers a peak payload rating of 1,940 pounds and a maximum towing capacity of 12,000 pounds. Now the 2021 Tundra could haul 1,730 pounds or tow 10,200 pounds. However, in spite of its best in class power and torque numbers, the 2022 Tundra pales in comparison to the Ford F-150 that can haul 2,230 pounds or tow 14,000 pounds. Now according to Toyota, that's because truck buyers are less impressed by maximum numbers than daily usable, reliable, and off-road capability. To that end, the automaker isn't allowing its flagship Tundra TRD Pro to rest on its lures, giving it 2.5 inches of internal bypass Fox shocks with piggyback reservoirs and a TRD tuned springs for a lift of 1.1 inches. A unique TRD stabilizer bar and extensive underbody skid plane come along for the ride, as well as standard LED front light bar, crawl control, and multi-terrain select with digital camo accents that appear on the seat centers and wheel arches for a bit more flair. 
the hybrid engine will come standard with the TRD Pro, which will be just fine since the electric motor should provide a nice shove of low end torque when off-roading. The iForce Max powertrain will also be available on the limited, platinum, and 1794 edition trims, while the base SR and mid-level SR5 will receive the non-hybrid turbocharged V6 only. A TRD off-road package will be also available on most trim levels, bringing mono tube Bliston dampers, crawl control, and every 2022 Tundra will come standard with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, the automaker's latest suite of active safety and driver assistance systems. Now, the TSS 2.5 includes automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, junction turn assist that monitors oncoming traffic, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic high beams. With the standard adaptive cruise control and active lane centering, the Tundra should be as comfortable on a long freeway drive as its predecessor, which boasted a smooth, quiet ride. Now, most impressively, the Tundra bundles all these features in every trim, including the base SR. And most competitors, like the Ford F-150 or Chevrolet Silverado 1500, even the Ram 1500 requires stepping into a higher trim or checking an option box to get the active safety and driver assist. Only the Nissan Titan comes close with standard automatic emergency braking and collision monitoring, though it does come at a charge for more adaptive cruise and other driver assistance features. Now, the 2022 Toyota Tundra is still a few months away from its market launch due in dealers by the end of the year, so unfortunately, the automaker isn't ready to announce pricing or specifications like ground clearance and iForce Max towing capacity. Be confident the truck won't be much more expensive than its predecessor, planned on the base SR 4x2, costing around $36,000, with the volume of the SR5 Crew Max 4x4 demanding around $45,000 or so. A fully loaded TRD Pro or 1794 edition should be right around $60,000 with every box ticked, boasting segment best power and torque to match. But we'll know more about the Tundras come later on this year when they're closer to the market debut. So with that said, what do you guys think about the new 2022 Toyota Tundra after 14 years? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the ranking. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on the 2022 Toyota Tundra revealed for the first time. Now, with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. Now, you guys can also check out the Ryan's Rise merch. You want tank tops, you want hoodies, you want long sleeve shirts, you want t-shirts, leggings, everything Ryan's Rise is there. I'm also on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't make it here to the channel. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one news video with that said you guys be blessed have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next ron's rise news video peace